Hi, welcome to the, to the Tacoma Historical Society. I'm Elizabeth, uh, the curator, and today we're just going to do a quick tour of our archives and collection storage space. We're starting here in our work area, where we have all of the objects that are coming in to be accessioned and sorted, and where we keep all of our documents. And here we have our map case for the storage of large format I objects. Primarily photographs, but also things like newspapers and large format books that won't fit on the regular shelves. Along this way, we have our hanging storage for framed artworks, especially the oversized ones. We use this cage hanging system with S hooks, you can see over here to give us some versatility and allow us to move items as new objects come in and objects come on and off exhibit. We now further here we have our larger size shelves for bound newspapers. The majority of this collection dates from the 1940s through 1970s uh, with bound editions uh, by the month for the Tacoma News Tribune. But as we go back even further, our earliest newspapers date to the 1880s on these shelves. Also down this aisle you'll see the beginning of our furniture storage as well as our oversized box storage which is going to be things like textiles and bound books that are too large to fit in the map case. Lot of different types of objects ranging from photographs, documents, archival objects, all the way to large pieces of furniture, textiles, and personal objects. So here we're getting into our largest items in the furniture collection, which are going to be this early 20th century or late 19th century roll top desk from Tacoma's original city hall. And we also have in the title of largest artifact a drying rack for developing blueprints on a rooftop. It actually spans two of our aisles. Come here then past the large artifacts. We reach the overflow area for small framed items. These are things that didn't fit on the wall. And then our main box storage, the cartons, contain probably by volume the largest number of individual artifacts, including almost all the works on paper and small photographs that are unframed. Tiniest objects are here in the photograph and negative boxes, including glass plate photographs, but also very small books, postcards, and other items that need to be in small boxes. Our last and I think the most fun area here is the open storage for small artifacts. So things that are too big to fit in a small photographic box and too small to go with the larger furniture items. We have clocks, ski poles, bits of masonry, spittoons, bowling ball balls and pins, flags, rulers, jars. Thank you for joining us today.